Hey everybody, it's Peter here with GoodyReader.com. Today we have a Kindle Fire 8.9, and what we're going to do is just show you guys what Amazon Kindle Fire tablets' parental controls look like. So first thing, you want to scroll down, and you'll see that parental controls are on, and we'll show you exactly how to turn these on and off. You want to go to More, and then Parental Controls is right under the settings here. So we just have our password set to Pass for now, so then we can get access to the parental controls. From here, you'll see various options, parental controls either on or off. If you turn them off, once again, enter the password, there won't be anything blocked up top. You have access to games, shop, pretty much everything. So what we want to do is go to the top, click on more, parental controls. From there, you see that it says that it's off. We want to turn those on. Once again, we will input our password, which is pass. So you'll see numerous amount of settings here. Web browser will set to blocked. Email contacts calendars will set to blocked. You can also password protect purchases. We have that to on so that, say, your child grabs your tablet, plays a couple games, and then goes online and buys $400 worth of apps. <laughs> you don't want that, so you can always protect that. You can also go uh, password protect video playback, so you can block uh, playing back videos on Amazon Prime. Also, block and unblock content types. So what we're going to do is click on that, show you guys what's going on there. You can block certain things. So for example, let's block newsstand, videos, music, and save photos. So then we'll go back. And you can see that those are saved. Change password. Obviously, you can change your password from there. Um, you do need your original password to change the password, so don't get any smart ideas. Password protect Wi-Fi, require password to turn on Wi-Fi, so you can disable wireless connectivity altogether uh, just to kind of use it as a fail-safe so that no matter what they do, they have no in uh, access to the Internet. And require a password to turn on location-based services like maps and all that kind of stuff. So we'll show you what's going on now. You can see here at the top where it says video, newsstand, webs, photos, music. Can't click on those because we've blocked them. So you can click on games and check out your games. And of course, you can click on apps and check out your apps. However, you cannot click on music, videos, newsstand, webs, and photos like we discussed because we have blocked those via parental controls. If you ever want to take those off, you scroll the bar down, you'll see that it says parental controls are on. Go ahead and click that. Insert your password. Then you can turn the parental controls on or off. Utilizing your password. And now everything is accessible to your tablet. This works on the Kindle Fire, the Kindle Fire HD 7 inch and the Kindle Fire HD 8.9 inch, which this particular model is. So this was just a quick video to show you guys the uses and advantages of having parental controls on a tablet that you may lend to your, um, uh, your children or friends or whatever the case may be. They have certain ways to restrict certain content. So uh, I think that's a very good way of preventing inappropriate content from being seen by people you may not want to uh, view that. So for any other information, you can go to youtube.com slash goodyreader or goodyreader.com slash blog if you want to look at the latest views, reviews, interviews, and much and many other um, uh, event coverage. Uh, we're currently going to London right now, so you can check that out on our blog. Uh, you can check out our app store at goodyreader.com slash apps. And for Goody Reader, this is Peter. Everyone have a great day.